everybody. We're coming back yard again today. And uh, Emmett decided he was uh, going to come out and experience some of the heat today. And uh, I know we complain about the heat. Most of the country is complaining about the heat. It's just the uh, summertime, folks. We got to deal with it. Folks, we're going to do a little meal for you today. We're going to do some beef ribs and some Brussels sprouts. Now, a lot of people don't like Brussels sprouts. They got a bad name. But hopefully, I got a recipe that will make you like Brussels sprouts. Let's talk about the beef ribs first. Got them underneath here. Uh, all we did with these is we brought them up to room temperature. I put some lime juice and salt and pepper on these. Now folks, these are not the ideal beef rib. They're really thin. They're more the cut of a steak thickness than they are a big like a dino rib or some big really beefy ribs. So these are gonna cook really fast. We gotta make sure they don't get tough. So we're gonna do a reverse sear on these. We're gonna put them in the smoker, let them get some smoke, and then we're gonna sear them off right at the end. So let me stick these on the smoker real quick and get them out of our way. And I hope y'all are enjoying y'all's day today. Uh, we're having a, a very good day here and we always enjoy doing these videos for you. And we like bringing them to you. Uh, we hope y'all enjoy watching the videos. Now, with that goes, let's talk a little bit about Brussels sprouts. These I've already prepped that are in that bowl. But, I'm going to talk a little bit about... At least you might want to bring the camera up for just a minute. But, Brussels sprouts always have had a bad name. they got a lot of sulfur content in them, and they want to really cause a lot of people problems. Here's how I do these Brussels sprouts. I get about a quarter inch up above the bottom of the brussel and I cut that off. And that way the exterior leaves fall off really easy because we need to get rid of those. And all I simply do is cut this brussel in half. Okay, so that's how I prep this whole bowl of Brussels sprouts. And we're gonna cook those today and we're gonna cook them on the fire and we're gonna do it on a 12 inch deep oven and you're saying oven yeah but we're gonna put the lid on first folks because this can also be a skillet and because we don't want to flip the brussels sprouts out we want something a little bit taller than a standard skillet so we're going to put this 12 inch oven on here and that oven's going to start to get hot and to that oven we're going to add something that everybody needs to keep folks this is three tablespoons of bacon grease. Now everybody's grandma and mom save bacon grease. We've got away from saving bacon grease nowadays, but we save bacon grease and it really comes in handy. We're gonna put that three tablespoons of bacon grease in there. And folks, I can tell you, it's gonna not take too long for that to get rendered down. We're just going to let that melt just a little bit. Oh, Emmett had a little topple. We'll get Emmett back up there. Now, to that bacon grease, we're going to add one medium chopped Valdelia onion. And Lisa, I'll continue with this if you'd go get me a wooden spoon because we forgot a wooden spoon, folks. So, we got that going in there. And to that, we're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of black pepper. We're gonna add a tablespoon of white sugar. And you go sugar, and you'll understand why we're gonna do sugar in a minute. And we got our little stirring tool. Since we got up here and forgot about it. We give all that a good stir. It's starting to come together really good. We're gonna add our Brussels sprouts.
and then we're going to add a teaspoon of chili powder and a tablespoon of garlic or about two cloves of garlic, one and a half to two cloves of garlic. And all of our chili powder didn't come out of there, folks. There we go. And the last thing we're going to add, which is what's going to help the Brussels sprouts in my recipe come together, this is two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And if the oven's hot, folks, we've got to be careful and just don't throw that in there. But I always let the vinegar, I always keep my vinegar at room temperature. All right, I'm going to give this a quick stir. these until the outside of the Brussels sprouts gets a little char. That's when we're going to be taking them off. We don't want to get them real, real mushy or real soft. So folks, we're going to let this go. We're going to come back and uh, show you what these Brussels sprouts are going to look like. Welcome back. Let's give these Brussels sprouts a little check. <laughs> and they are sizzling up pretty good. We're starting to get just a little bit of char on there, ever so lightly. So what we're going to do is, folks, is we're going to pull that off. Set it down here on the ground. Because we gotta remember our cast iron is still really hot. It's gonna continue to cook uh, inside the cast iron. So folks, I want to explain a little bit about my Brussels sprouts because I kind of rushed through the first part of this video. The vinegar and the sugar combination will take a little bit of that bite out of the Brussels sprout. And I think you all know what I'm talking about, but Brussels sprouts have a, they, they've got a bad name. A lot of people don't like them because they've got a real pungent taste to them. And that uh, vinegar and that sugar will work to take some of that out and make them more pleasant for you. Now, also with these Brussels sprouts, folks, we're doing these ribs. So we've got the ribs on the smoker while we did the Brussels sprouts. All right, we're gonna try to move them over and get a little sear on them real quick. Now again, over here, they've only had smoke. They haven't had any uh, real heat to them. But they are really thin. And so they're gonna cook really fast and they're big. If they cook really fast, folks, they're gonna be tough and they're gonna be dry. So, It'll take me just a few minutes to get these seared off and we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Welcome back folks these ribs didn't take but maybe three to five minutes they're like I said they're really thin and because there's a bone in there there's very little meat you don't want to put a whole lot on there they're gonna really be tough so let's get this pit closed up so that fire can go out and let's take a little spot check on our Brussels look like they kind of calmed down a little bit they were sizzling pretty good at first. So uh, I'm gonna bring these up here. At least so you can take a little look at these. Okay. 
and you can see we just have just a very little char on there at all the darkness has come from the chili powder and we've got those all fixed up and i guarantee you folks those are going to be good and if you're not a brussels sprout fan i might be able to make you one all right folks take a look at these ribs and see what they're going to look like These should be fairly tender. Oh yeah, they come right on apart. They're really hot and they're really, they're kind of pink in the middle, which it's beef, hey? They need to be that way. Well, Lisa, if you want to come up and take a look, show the people what the rib's gonna look like on the inside. Again, we treated this more like a steak than a rib. So folks, we're going to enjoy some ribs and Brussels sprouts this evening. And we hope that you have prepared a really good meal for you to enjoy. Folks, it would be a really good benefit to us if we knew what you thought about these videos. Send us message, text message, respond to YouTube, whatever method out there to communicate. Let us know if these are meaningful to you or if you would like to see something in particular and we'll be more than happy to help you out. So folks, enjoy your food.